Today, we are with our Chief Information Officer, Tim Ramsey, and Business Analyst, Kristen Hilborn. And we're going to be talking about the launch of our newest platform, the Addy Portal. And this is a great opportunity for me just to be able to sit down and talk to them about the portal, some of the great features of it, who it might be useful for, and, you know, going right off the bat, um, what is Addy Portal and why is this such a great thing for um, all types of customers? So the Addy Portal is our internally developed portal that we've built and it includes all sorts of functionality. It's got metrics, order entry, tracking, reporting. So it's really kind of a one-stop shop for our customers to give them access to all of the information and functionality that they need. Um, with that being the case, it's really very valuable for all of our customers. You know, if they don't need order entry, then you're going to probably still need the tracking or the reporting. So it's a very valuable tool for everybody. Yeah, I would. It, that's well said. I, I would. I would add too that it's it fits all levels of customers, meaning the sophistication they may or may not have. For example, we have some customers that aren't able to tender orders to us electronically. This is a fantastic way to get those orders in, right? They come in, they're edited, and then processed as normal. For customers that are more sophisticated, it offers the features Kristen's talking about. It's higher volume, it offers tracking, the ability to chase down signatures, data, export, reporting, all kinds of features. So I would say that it was built with every customer in mind, small, large, technically sophisticated to unsophisticated. I know that we've done a few walkthroughs prior to launch, and I know us in marketing and sales, we were really excited. What's something really unique about it that, that you know, we're really proud of? I think there's a couple of things that make it really unique. So the first one is that we've added some very valuable functionality. Uh, for example, address validation in real time. So rather than having bad data come into the system and possibly miss a pickup or a delivery, we're validating that address as it's being entered and then letting the user know that, hey, this might be a mistake. Do you want to fix it before it ever actually comes into the system? So that's one thing that really makes it valuable. Um, something else is the modular design. So we talked about all the different pieces of functionality, the, you know, the order entry, the tracking, all of that can be turned on or off as appropriate. So where Tim mentioned, we might have some customers that are more sophisticated. We have an integration, they don't need order entry. We can turn that off and they only need to see the pieces that are relevant to their business. Yeah, some of the other features like um, to me is our concept of beyond maps tracking. I mean, it's, you know, it's, everybody's kind of enamored with a car on a map and seeing it move, but it's really not just about where the driver is physically or what street he's on. It's about ETA. What's he bringing? You know, what's what's important? So we're, we're big on, you know, driving into what's really important in terms of our tracking as compared to just a car on a map. We can make the car. We can certainly do that. But we have a concept we refer to as beyond maps. So it's more about data and information and timing than it is just a car in motion. Yeah. And of course, you know, once we, you know, get the username to our customer and they log in and, you know, they're enjoying it and stuff, the next thing that might come to mind and I come, you know, it comes to my mind as a marketer, you know, I'm used to logging into all different types of software is, you know, what's the ongoing support going to be like? And from what you guys have told me that it just sounds beyond, you know, support, it sounds like actual sort of um, research and improvement that you guys are committed to, you know, working with our customers on the system. Yeah, that's correct. So, of course, we do offer our training for our customers. So, we would work with them to set up the Addy portal in the way that meets their needs. And then we'll go through training on how to use it, how to enter orders or whatever, you know, information they need assistance with. Um, but from there, it's like you said, we we want this to be growing and developing, you know, over time. So. Uh, we look at this as a partnership. We've launched it with what we think is valuable features for our customers, but we know that as they're in there using it on a daily basis, there's going to be things that we could add to make it more user friendly or a piece of functionality that we haven't thought about. So we want to work with our customers on developing that functionality for them. So it's truly a system that meets their needs as opposed to something that we think they need. Yeah, Kristen spot on there. We, if you think about Addy portal, is an extension and improvement upon our old portal. And those extensions and improvements to make it more user-friendly, more usable, and of more value came from our customers. We, we don't sit and just think of things to, to throw in the portal that we think would be cool, so to speak. We're working with the customers and that's where those requirements come from. Not only have we worked with them to extend the portal and build it, 
then we beta test with certain customers, get more feedback. And that's not gonna be something that changes. We'll get this version out and, and there will be another as new features come to mind for customers and, and from us. I mean, I'm not to say that we, we don't know, know the business and drive some of the technology, but it is a partnership with our customer and that is definitely something we're committed to.